everybody, I'm back. Um, today, I am very excited to bring to you, if you watched my Instagram uh, the other day, like yesterday, I think it's going to be when this video gets up, it was yesterday, um, I, bought a br I bought a full case of the Blooms, the Bloom Doll Series 1. I'm so excited for these. I, I've been excited for these since when I saw the a video footage on it for uh, from Toy Fair in um, February. Anyhow, these were not supposed to be on the store floor until, I think, July 1st, but mine are blooming early. <laughs> that was wicked cheesy. So anyhow, I got a case of these, and a case only comes with 12. So there are, But there are 22 to collect, so I'm obviously not going to get a full set out of this case. But just as a little teaser, I am actually going to open one up a day. And I'll just tell you this in the first video. Uh, that I'll open, I'm gonna open one a day, and we'll, we're gonna see, you know, if I get doubles or not. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is day one. The stock box is pretty cute. I'll just, uh, show you the, uh, pictures here. There's a cool little picture here that says bloom, and it says add water and see who blooms. And there's a bunch of cool little flowers on it, and then in the front it says add water and see who blooms. You got one water, two it blooms, and then three, you pop it out, and it says I'm posable, and it looks like they all come with a little um, pet or side character, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so um, I'm going to... Wait, what does the back look like? Does the back show, like, a checklist? No, the back is plain. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up our first one here on the top shelf. So, let's see. Here it shows a couple of the girls you can get on the box. Uh, wild hair that grows... 22 to collect, where, out, where outrageous glows, grows. So, it looks like we had a little heart on the top here. Um, I don't know if that's significant to it, or if that's just part of the packaging. Do we have any tear strips at all? Uh, it doesn't look like it. So, I, I may have to go get scissors, guys, so I'm going to be right... Uh, do I have to get scissors? Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I sliced a little, my own little tear strip on the side, so hopefully that will just come right out. Dee and Ari and my, my sister and everybody, they're all on vacation right now. So, I'm going doing a solo one. Oh, this pot is really cool, guys. I don't know if you see that coming out. It's different shades of pink, and you can see, like, little, like, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Vines and a little bit of leafage. So that's cool. I wonder if they all look the same. I've seen a few videos out um, for these, but they're not too descriptive. So, um, yeah. Alright, so I had to finish getting the uh, the outer layer off, off camera because it was really tough plastic and there was no tear strips. So um, I definitely recommend that younger kids get their parents to help them with the sharp scissors that are needed to get that off but let me get back to it the top rim of our rim is a, a darker pink oh maybe it's not maybe that is our actual maybe that's right okay i take that back it's extra wrapping outside of it so it, it's a light pink um pot that has a vine that goes all the way around it and then the vines have leaves on them and then the, on the front of it it says bloom you guys can see that and uh, it almost looks like it's on hinges but we'll We'll figure that part out later. So there's another top part. That's the cute. Do I, does that peel off? Do I have to? Okay, maybe I cut into it already. I cut into it already. So I think it's a tinted pink top. Blaze, do you think you're going to be able to help? Here we go. Alright, so the heart piece that says bloom on it comes off. And then, i got a little bit of tape here. And then it looks like we have our checklist and slash informational, I mean, uh, instructional sheets here. Just add water and see who grows. Um, number one, remove the pink label. Number two, fill with water. Sprinkle water evenly. And... 
Watch doll magically grow. Tip, if the doll blooms slowly, add more water. Remove the doll. Um, pull out ring and open for surprises. Okay, so it is hinges. We'll take a look at the checklist after we, uh, after we, so we want to take this pink part off. Right? So we're taking the pink part off, and it looks like we have some stickers inside here, guys. Cool. It's like a bookshelf and a cactus and um, some snake plant, a snake plant, and then um, cool. And then there's a picture, a portrait of them, and a cuckoo clock. Cool. Um, I forgot to mention uh, this. Uh, this is actually made by Skyrocket Toys. If you're not familiar with them, uh, join the club because I'm actually not familiar with them either. So um, I'll have to do research and find out what other toys they actually do make. But um, as far as I know, they're just kind of a smaller end toilet company. But they came up with a great idea. So this might be this might be uh, the idea that makes them. So, if I'm wrong, uh, comment below if you guys know what else they make. Um, so, I filled this up. It's squeezy. It's um, it's almost kind of like an LOL bottle in a way. So, you put it in water and you squeeze it and, you, and it bubbles and you fill it up. So, this is what it comes from and it shows you on the top part it almost looks like dirt. And um, I was actually worried these were going to get ruined in the pouring rain that I had to carry them home in. But I think they're good. So, uh, you just add water to it and it's supposed to bloom. Looks like I might need more. I'm gonna keep the camera on this though. Just in case it does something while I'm not paying attention. Oh, something's happening, guys. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, please, something's happening! What is that, Blaze? What is it? What's coming out of there? Is that it? So I think that's it. Our girl's out now. Oh no! Alright, well, I helped it a little bit. So our girl has uh, blue hair, looks like. Oh, something else is going on there too. So I go in here and I pull this ring out. I, no, you pull the girl out first? You pull the girl out first. Okay. So it's kind of like disintegrating paper. Sort of kind of like... Maybe grocery gang toilets? Oh, wow. Okay. So she comes with a little <laughs> cone of shame on the top of her. Let's pull that off. <clears throat> we'll get into her in a little bit, but I know... Apparently I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pull out the ring. I don't know which ring I'm pulling out. This ring. The, or this ring. Probably this ring, maybe. This ring? I'm so confused. It says to pull out ring, which is this whole top part here. So. Okay, so it was hard, but I pulled it out. Um, off camera. I will next video I do I will pull it off camera. This is the little mechanism that helps it grow. I'm assuming this is not something that's reusable but it's it's a pretty neat device here guys. Anyhow <coughs> let's see here and then it says after I pull that out we pull this open for the surprise. Oh, okay. So it is all pink on the inside. Oh, we got a few things that are hiding in here. Um, so over here we have a question mark and this little pull tab here. So let's check this out. Oh. And it's supposed to look like a paper version of like a vanity maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, she's got a cute like jumpsuit. You guys see this? It's pink. 
It's pink, uh, and it has like a bunch of different fern leaves all over it. Fern fraws, fra fronds, sorry. Um, there is no paint detail, which is kind of a bummer, but I can live with that. Let's see. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, these guys retail in the U.S. for $9.99. At least that's what Walmart's selling them for. Um, she has these really cute yellow beach sandals. Those are really cute as well. And uh, let's see. This, this is probably supposed to be a, maybe a hamper. I don't know what's in here. Uh, something I can't get out. Hold on, I'm just going to dump it. What is that? Looks like a croissant or something. No, it is a a seashell person. That's an interesting side character. Okay, so we have a seashell. So she must. Oh yeah, she's some sort of. Her theme must be some sort of sea. I should have thought that already because, um, because look, seashell. She's wearing like beach capris. And she has sandals. I guess those could be different kind of capris, but... Okay, so there's other, there's other weird little stump coming out the side here that's got tape on it. I don't know if I can undo the tape and hold this at the same time, but I'm going to try. So yeah, let's see what this is. Let's get it out. Okay, it opened up. Oh, is that a stand? Sweet! Alright, so we have a person here. And it comes with a stand. So how can I really be... This is a really good set for 10 bucks. Um, the place that it sells, I don't really know. Because, well, let's get her together. Because I feel like the scaling might be off. But um, I'll be right back. I'm going to put her together. And then we're going to look over the interior design of this uh, flower pot. So I lied. Before I go and put her all together, I actually want to do a little bit... I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of review here. So I want to show you the articulation. Now the reason why I want to show you the articulation first is because I did, off camera, try her outfit on. And it does restrict her articulation a little bit. So I'm actually okay with, that, with the outfit restricting. It bothers me a little bit, but I'd rather have a restricted articulation than have none. So, first, ar first point of articulation she has is her head. Her head goes up and down and back and forth, which is a really, really, really awesome thing for a doll this small to have. Um, her arms are really, her arms are a little bit of a softer plastic than the rest of her body. Uh, they go up and down like this, and that's about it, so uh, the movement of a little shoppy. Her legs go up and down, and they also do the, do they also do the splits? No, her legs go up and down, so that so she her legs go up and down, her arms go up and down, and her head goes back and forth and, and up and down, so that's pretty cool. Um, this particular uh, girl, this particular Bloom girl, um, I, I don't know, let me just see who she is. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing <laughs> to this video, because I am clueless. Okay, so here's our checklist on the back here, guys. And um, our checklist shows her under, I think she's in a... Adorable? No, this is May. Her name is May, and she's an adorable. So, um, she's definitely very underwater theme-ish. Uh, you can see she has, her, her hair is like a, like a sky blue, or dare I say ocean blue. And then she's got, like, the seaweed coming up in the middle here as, like, almost like a crown. And then she has... Uh, a starfish that's yellow. Her hair is squishy, okay? And I don't even know how to describe the type of squishy because it's not like that whole like l like fast rising, low rising type thing. You know what? I do know how to describe it. It's like a Nerf ball. It feels like a Nerf ball because it's squishy, but it doesn't have a bounce and it's more solid. So yeah, Nerf like a Nerf ball. Now the other cool and interesting thing about these dolls is that um, wait let, let's let's finish describing her first. She's wearing a, <laughs> I am all over the place. Uh, she's wearing a bikini, um, and it's lavender, so that's like printed on, so that's gonna be underneath her her outfit. Um, she has like these really really stunning green eyes if you guys can see those, 
And um, her eyeshadow, like, represents leaves. So it's like a leafy eyeshadow, which is really, really, really cool. And then she has, uh, like, three eye pupils inside. She has, she has a really pretty face. And then she has closed lips that have really nice detail on them that um, also are, like, a like a watermelon pink. So pretty cool. And she has brown eyebrows. Now, the, Okay, what I was going to say before is the cool thing about her hair is that um, it show, it's rubbery on the bottom. And you would think, like, by looking at it, this part comes off and it looks weird. Uh, but no, uh, her hair does come off. It's, it's supposed to be so they can interchange with each other. So if you have two, you can mix and match their outfits and their hair. So look at that. It comes off. Now I'm going to pull this part off here that was holding it on. And uh, her without her hair, she's got a molded on hair underneath. That is a really cool detail for a $10 doll, to have removable hair, but still have hair underneath. So if if you decide you want to just display your doll with the bun, you can take the hair off easily, and it will you know, stay off. Now, it has paper in it. I don't know why the paper's there, if the paper keeps it on more, but I'm going to take that paper out and uh, see. Okay. So in the paper, there we go. I think it was probably just for um, packaging reasons, so that water didn't get into there or something, but see how easily it goes back on. It's pretty easy. Easily comes off, easily goes on. And I don't think it's going to fall off. Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe the paper was there to keep it from falling off. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to get her dressed up. We're going to put her on her stand, and we're going to take a look at the play set that she comes with. Okay, so I got May on her stand. Uh, she was a little tough to get positioned right so she didn't fall over because um, she definitely has heavy top, top heavy hair. I mean, look how big her hair is. Her hair is pretty much measured just the same as her body. So they're in a struggle there. Um, I got her cute little purse on there and then her little uh, clam friend. Uh, so overall, I'm very impressed with this. This is something I haven't seen before maybe it's happened it was something that might have happened when you know before i was born type thing i don't know but i'm thinking this is newer material anyhow i'm rambling on so we're gonna take these stickers and we're gonna we're gonna um turn over here and we're gonna look at the playset itself and um i don't know let's see so i don't i feel like I feel like this playset's a little bit not portioned right for the doll, but um, I wonder if they can be displayed with it closed if you wanted to display them as a flower. Um, but these stickers I think are to decorate the inside, so it's a good backdrop for them I guess. But let me just see, well the playset works for this guy so maybe that could be his home. So yeah, that, this is the playset closed back up with her in it. Uh, the playset stands for play, but it doesn't stand for reconstruction. Uh, so, yeah. Um, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and put some stickers onto the inside flower pot for some detail, just for fun. Okay, I got it all decorated. I put um, our cactus and our snake plant over here in the closet shelf um that uh ribbon sticker was already on the hamper we have a cuckoo clock we have a bookshelf we have a little flower design and then we have a, almost like a bff picture um it looks like of may and what was the other one's nina what was it? mandy no may and tess that the other one there is tess and she actually looks pretty cool in the checklist um, and then there's a little Mara. I actually did a little bit of looking, and I think that the Mara part, or the part that I think is the Mara, is supposed to go on the bottom of her stand. Right here. It looks like the design is made for that. So maybe on the next girl we'll do that. But, um... I love that they come on the stand. <laughs> Alright. So that's all we have for you guys today. 
Uh, if you like this video, uh, go ahead, uh, give it a thumbs up, and stay tuned for tomorrow when I do video number two as I tackle opening this case. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.